Hey everybody, Rick Needham handicapping thoroughbred racing from Parks Racing Ben Salem, Pennsylvania on Sunday afternoon, October the 16th. And this is my dayatthetrack.com race of the day. Let's take a look at race 8 this afternoon, folks. 3.22 p.m. Eastern Post Time. Six and a half roll long sprint on the dirt track. Three year rolls and up race for an allowance purse of some $48,000. Contenders number 7, Hillswick number 9, need to get paid. The paired entry of number 1A, Fiscal Stimulus, and the stablemate number 1, Brother in Arms, on my list, along with number 5, Trade Secret. Number 7, uh, Hillswick, is the overall speed leader in his allowance field this afternoon, sprinting at or about 6.5 furlongs. On the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five outings. This recent streak of racing consistency also includes a trio of power run wins. Jockey Angel Arroyo and trainer trainer Rudy Rodriguez send him postward. They've hit the board with 59% of their entry saddles, the team to date, with their 33% win rate producing a positive 70% return on investment in the process. Number nine, need to get paid, is turned in power run performances in five straight, hitting the board in each of his last four adventures, including a power run win in his fourth race back. Race 8 summary, number 7, Hillswick, tops my contenders list, which also includes number 9, need to get paid, the paired entry of 1A fiscal stimulus, and the stable mate, number 1, brother in arms. Rounds out my contenders list, along with number 5, trade secret, 7, 9, 1, 5 in the 8th from Parks Racing. Bonus long shots, Hawthorne, race number 4, entry number 4, too many sins, 4 to 1 in the morning line. Qualifies as a Trackmaster plus Power Pony is the overall speed leader in this claiming field, racing at or about today's distance of 8.5 furlongs on the dirt. Woodbine race course, something a little different today, folks. There were three major stake races here at Woodbine, and I found long shot possibilities in all three. First comes in race five, here in the $500,000 in the Arctic Stakes, the 15 to 1 bomb, number two, Grand Adventure. Drops the class to enter this grade one event as the overall speed leader in this stakes field, sprinting at six furlongs on the turf. Race eight, the six to one shot. Number four, Strawberry Daiquiri. Drops in class by eight units as the overall speed leader in this one million dollar E.P. Taylor stakes event, racing at or about today's distance of 10 furlongs on the turf. Race 10, here in the $1.5 million Patterson Canadian International Stakes, the 9-2 shot, number 13, Treasure Beach, a British bread entry, drops in class, having last raced in a $5 million event in Europe. Nice overall speed for this 12 for one test on the Woodbine turf. So handicapping from Parks Racing, with long shots from Hawthorne and Woodbine on a Sunday, with needing four. Day at the track .com. Reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.